An example of where I added extra mental load for my wife. Blueberry muffins edition. So earlier, Alyssa made blueberry muffins. As our little one calls them Fluffins. As she asked to be picked up and pointed to them saying Fluffins, we know what that means, she wants some. I picked her up, put her in her high chair. As I was getting ready to feed the muffin to our toddler, knee jerk reaction, I yell over to Alyssa. Hey Alyssa, do you think that these muffins are too hot to feed to her? They just came out of the oven, Zach. Of course they are. Immediately upon those words exiting my lips, I knew that was a stupid question to ask. I was there, I heard the timer, I saw them come out of the oven. I could see them steaming. In retrospect, I'm looking at the question I was asking, was can I just give her the whole muffin or do I need to cut it up and let it steam out? And the fact is, if I had taken an extra 30 seconds to inspect the muffins, pull them out, feel it with my fingers, I would have known and taste a little bit of it to know whether it was too hot or not. For many of you who know me, I talk about these tiny little examples all the time. For people that don't appreciate why these small examples matter, I don't know what she was doing in the other room, but if she's doing anything that requires a little bit of thought, she has to switch directions with her brain, answer the question and come back to it. Multiply that by one or five or 10 or a hundred things a day, that's called decision fatigue. If you'd like to understand this better or you need help talking about this with your partner, get the Mental Load 101 free download in my store.